Hi folks and welcome to another episode of Tableau in 2 Minutes. Today we're going to demonstrate how you can create sparklines. Sparklines were popularized in, uh, in Microsoft Excel where you could put a really small uh, sort of line graph showing trends within a single cell. So what we're going to do is we're going to recreate that sort of a look uh, in Tableau. So I've gone ahead and I've connected to our Superstore data set. Um, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up just a basic line graph. And we're going to use that as the basis for creating our sparkline. So the first thing we want to do is just drag order date out, expand this out. Um, by quarter is a pretty good view for this, uh, this particular uh, one. So we'll leave that by quarter. Then we're going to take sales, just drag sales onto our, our rows shelf here. You can see that um, we've got a nice little, now sort of a line graph. Now, what we want to do to begin to create our sparklines chart is we want to have different lines for different categories. So let's take product subcategory, also drag that out onto the row shelf. And you'll see that now we're beginning to get a graph for each individual subcategory. Now you can see at the moment this is still quite long, so we're not there yet. First thing we want to do is make these long enough that we can see the names. There we go, that's much better. Then we want to make these axes so that we have the high points and the low points are the same, but each individual item uh, can have a different scale. Right now, everything is scaled from um, sort of zero up to, I don't know, about 40K. But in some cases, right, like if you look at art, it never gets as high as 40K. So it's really difficult to see the trend within art. So what we do is we go and we edit the axis. We're going to set an independent axis range for each row and column. When we do that, you can see already that now we have a much clearer trend within each uh, sorry within each uh, cell here we can also take off the include zero so that we don't have to include zero that way if we don't need to include zero we just see what the trend is and and the idea behind these is not that we want to understand that art was necessarily higher than accessories in Q4 but what we do want to understand is what the trend is how is it moving over time now we still need to clean this up a little bit we can make these a bit smaller if we want we can also drag the edge in here so that we get a, a little bit of a smaller look at it, right? You got to remember these things are typically contained within a single Excel cell. Um, if we wanted to expand this out, again, we have months in there. You can make that. There you go. Now we get the trend by month. So if you can look at the trend by month, you can see month to month what the trend has been and whether that's changed from year to year. And then we probably want to begin to just clean up. Whoops, a bit far. Um, just clean up some of the axes, right? We sort of know what we're looking at. Maybe we want to keep this top one. We know we're looking at a monthly trend, so we don't necessarily need to show the headers for the bottom one. We also know that the scale is not necessarily important. What is important is the trend, so we can get rid of the y-axis too. The other thing we can do is we can jump in here and just format this and begin to take away all of the lines that clutter up this view. The, the problem with having a view this small is that we need it to be as clean as possible. So we really want to take away everything that we possibly can in order to make the trend the star, as it were. The trend what you see. So in this case, we've just removed all of the grid lines. And then we can also begin to remove some of the borders as well. Again, the idea being that we want to clean up as much as possible to show the trend rather than the individual uh, numbers. If you hover over the individual numbers, obviously you still do get them. Um, so you can see the individual numbers, but uh, you can see now whether the trend has changed from year to year um, and whether the trend is different for different products. So that is a quick overview of how you would create sparkline charts in Tableau. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. As always, there's a link to the workbook and to the data set in the video description. And if you like what you heard, then please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.